Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Ayudin Chronicle 100, 100 Heroes. This is uh, part 11, I believe. And uh, yeah, we're just going to keep on, keep on, keeping on. And uh, yeah, let's just keep on keeping on and see how this, where this adventure takes me. Yo, what's up Bradley? How's it going, buddy? I hope you're well. So, last that we left off, we were in this effing place. And in this place, has been interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, my team, luckily, has leveled up a bit. And uh, hopefully, they do better. Installed the new Frontier for New Vegas. You can have vehicle mode in it. Nice. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Got eaten by the, uh, the phallic looking thing. I just hate resorting to violence. Oh, I didn't mean to escape, but sure. That works. <laughs> Wasn't trying to escape, but hey, here we are. Yo, what's up, karaoke? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Welcome to another adventure in the in the land of Ayudin. As I try to figure out where I should be going next. Supposedly there's a monster here that I'm supposed to uh, fight or something. Any last words? This team has got still needs some leveling up to do, but they've gotten a lot stronger. Yeah, the the, weak, the the weakest link in our group so far is the old man. Uh, yeah. Now's the time. What? This can't be good. They're forever after that old man. Your bag is too full to keep all the items. Please select something to take. I got too many unknown coins. Alright, hold on. I already got a bunch of unknown coins. I don't need any more. Yeah, overflow be discarded. <laughs> I don't need any more unknown coins. Alright, thingy. All right, so I'm here. There's this guy. Let's see. But I'm not seeing what I'm accepted. Dang, those, those uh, lobster things have a lot of HP. Yeah, we we are all over the place. Uh, we are all over the place, karaoke. Just to give you a quick primer, um, I don't know what was the last episode that you saw. Um... The 
the uh, Asian inspired uh, territory with the uh, the weak king uh, basically went on our side um, we fought off uh, the main general of the uh, Imperial Army and uh, the Emperor the Emperor for that Imperial country is probably What happened to YouTube? I don't know. What happened to YouTube? Was there something weird on the YouTube side? Last one. Just as I thought. The warrior's path has no end. Is there something wrong on the YouTube side? Yo, what's up, Momo? The webpage looks strange now, to say the least. Really? I haven't even looked. Nothing's wrong with stream, so you can breathe happy side. Oh, okay. How you doing, Momo? Hope you're having a great Sunday. So I'm here. I don't know where else to go in this place. I feel like I've been everywhere. There isn't another guy here. He'll spit me back out. Let me run to these corners. There has to be another... Since you a shot of it over Discord, you could scratch your head. Oh, all right, I gotta, I, I gotta see. Hold on, let's see. Um, I don't see too much different. I mean, they updated the, updated the look a little bit, but I'm not seeing anything too out of the ordinary. Other than the way they changed the my message on top to make sure you like the stream and if you're on YouTube make sure you like the stream <laughs> um, it's different now I'm old I can't do change <laughs> my resource bag can't ha hold any more Alright, let's... Big mistake. Oh god. Also guys, I did a poll on the YouTube community section, and I did it on the Discord as well. Um, when it comes to the actual Let's Plays themselves, the, the, you know, not the stream, but the Let's Plays themselves, I was trying to determine what be a good length for people to watch. The reason is, is that I read analytics and I know that most people Throw me someone don't watch towards the end, which makes sense. Um, so me, and since I do these uh let's play uploads um are based on when i stream i was thinking maybe it'd be better for me to base my let's play stuff on um whatchamacallit uh by splitting up the parts so like say i stream today for three hours but instead of just uploading the entire three hours of the stream so people can watch I could break them up into like one hour or 45 minute parts so make it uh, easy watching and then I could have more episodes up 
you know, per per week. Instead of like maybe two per week, like every day will just be another episode because it's just me breaking up the parts. Because I know it's a bit, sometimes it's a bit hard, especially if I stream for three hours. People watching a three hour stream, like a VOD. You know what I mean? Of a stream. It might be a bit tricky. Man, that scorpion killed the Grandpa Francesca. Dude, they were after Francesca bad. Here, watch yourself. Thank you so much. Poor Francesca, man. So long. Not even worth so. Yeah, exactly. I watched a gameplay recently that was seven hours long. It was up to you? Because I was thinking, like, for like adventure game stuff, like if I play God of War, pretty much everything in the game is like a straight line. You know what I mean? For something like this, where there might be portions where I do like um, grinding, like on a stream might be fine because I'm talking to everybody and stuff. But you know, people watching me grind on stream may not be the. I mean, grind in a video may not be the most entertaining thing in the world. So that could be like cut up into a shorter portion so it could get right to the actual action. Pathfinder, Path of the Righteous. Hey, go for it. Sounds like a, a plan to me. Big mistake. Wait, is a Pathfinder Lands of the Righteous um, a game or is it a, a, well I mean they're both games, but is it a game or is it a TTRPG memo? Because I, the only Pathfinder games I know are the like the, like the ones that are more like CRPGs. I know they made a bunch of them, but that's the only one that I know of. It's both. Well, I know Pathfinder itself is a TTRPG. Me. I meant the specific Wrath of the Righteous. You think it's technically... Oh, so it is technically above. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh my god. Look at this guy's Bagoma. That dude's got like stars. Why has still got like training Bogoma? Uh, I got like just a bunch of two star beginner Bogoma. <laughs> See, at this point, I'm not too sure exactly. Where I'm supposed to be going. Hey, that looks cool. Oh yeah, the Bago yeah, Bagoma. Yeah, it's ba Bagoma in this game is basically uh, Beyblades. Here, I'll play a game and get destroyed real quick. See, here we go. You became a lich in the game and the ultimate virgin wizard. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's do this. Now. Now. Take this. Now. Got 
Gotcha. Because Lich aren't yeah. aren't allowed to romance characters. Oh, gotcha. She's coming Take for this. ya. She's coming for ya. She's gotcha. coming for ya. She's coming for ya. Dude, see, see I'm getting destroyed. It's no gotcha. use. Coming for ya. Yeah. She's coming for ya. Yeah, see, I got destroyed. Gosh. Wait, is it? I lost. <laughs> I lost. I am not a Bagoma master. So it's like, where am I supposed to be going? I've been running around. These damn dungeons. This dungeon for a bit. Let's do this. That plant hook you across the map? Yeah. The, the the plan is kind of like a little warp thingy in the in a, in maps. A desert shark? Oh yeah, there's an entire race called the Sharks, and uh, Sand Shark is a movie. Yeah, there's an entire race called the Sharks, and they explained that um, there is a legend in the in their mythology that one day that hundreds of years ago this land was an something called an ocean and the Shearks used to swim in the ocean and then the ocean dried up and then they learned how to you know walk on the sand but none of them believe it they all think it's like some type of weird goofy mythology about their origins um, but they love the sand they have boats that race through the sand so they, they're basically sand sharks. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're friggin' dead. <laughs> Throw me someone stronger next time. I like it. X is a shark. It's also a movie, along with Santa Jaws. Yeah, there's a there's a couple really goofy shark movies out there that are that are a lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of fun shark movies. Let's see, I've been here. I've been throughout here. I'm still not too sure exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Words. I'm leaving this fight. <laughs> Ghost shark. Is that the is that is that the one Momo where the sh the shark is a hand puppet? It's like the really terrible one where the the shark is just it's just nothing but a hand puppet. And include your bathtub. <laughs> uh oh. Not sure because well, the reason I say that, Momo, is that um, uh, that group Riff Traps, uh, Riff Tracks. You know the guys behind Mystery Science Theater. They they they're they're still doing their thing. They call it Riff Tracks. They were doing a riff recently, um, and it was basically a bunch of people fighting a ghost shark. 
and the ghost shark was literally a, like a hand puppet of a shark f fly it's it's the most like it's it's not even b movie it's like f movie <laughs> level <laughs> graphics they just basically made a hand puppet transparent <laughs> and that was chasing people I bet I bet if you I bet if you Google riff tracks and shark this it, 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 it probably comes up <laughs> it's so goofy oh yeah I just saw like the little trailer of it yeah those th those those riff track guys like you know their whole job is to make fun of bad movies but they literally sounded like they were cracking up laughing while 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 talking about that movie Avalanche shark. <laughs> so many shark movies. Come on! That doesn't even count as exercise. I am grateful for any opportunity to grow. She is grateful, and every. All right, I'm just gonna run to the top again. Oh God! There's Ex Exodus Shark Two. It's it's more it's more sharky than ever before. See, there's nothing up here. So I really don't know. Let's go to the beginning. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at all these unknown coins I got. Yeah, let's uh, get those appraised real quick. It's good for luck because it sounds bad. Yeah. What? I just need. Yeah. I don't know where to go, lady. I've been running around. I ran around the entire desert. I'll wait here. So yeah, I also love how how some of the sharks have a have a chain around their neck, and they have like a shark tooth chain. It's it's pretty it's pretty funny. I dig it. I, I like this I like this town. This this town is uh, just the a right amount of silly. I'm gonna appraise those coins. You could sell for a high price. Come on. You know what? I have no problem. For. for for selling the, this gold coin. Nice drip sharky man, I know. One of these coins has to be worth a lot. They keep on playing like sad music. Like, fi like five grand is a bad thing. Oh sh... What you can sell for a high royal gold coin. Nice. Look at this. Bell. I'm gonna sell I'm gonna sell two of them, but I'm gonna keep one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to one of them, dude. I just got sixty grand.
I just got 60 grand out of this mess. I'll take that. I still don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going. I might actually have to look it up. There's a couple people here that I need to um, recruit. Like this guy, I want to recruit because he's a uh, he's a general. If I if I recruit him, he's a uh, drill sergeant. He'll make my armies fight better. But that's kind of important. If I want to make my armies fight better. I don't need any more healing herbs. What's up, Windows 95? How's it going, buddy? A guy can help for sure. I miss losses. <laughs> hey, it's A-OK, -okay, karaoke. <laughs> that's 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 part that's that's the fun part of doing some of these let's plays. Living the dream, how was your day? Same man. Same. Living living the dream. Yeah, it's like weird. Like I buy armor for some of these guys, and then I just see better armor. I think everyone. I think everyone's good now. But platinum is a horrible metal to make. Ar oh yeah, it is. It just. It well, it's just like um, when they make gold armor. It always makes me laugh. I'm like, I don't want gold armor. Like, do you like do you, like like do you know how soft gold is as a metal? It's a terrible choice for armor. Imagine wearing gold armor in the lava area. <laughs> Maybe my fancy statue can have gold armor, but not me. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, wearing gold armor in the lava area just melts. All right, let's actually continue the story. I'll, I'll, go, I'll come back and figure out what's up with those guys. Oh, look what I found. Yeah, I just need a damn library. <laughs> Once I get a library, I can start putting all those books away. Anything cool over here? Before I walk into the capital? Try out this recipe. It's me. What? I'm 
dark fin soup. There's something kind of demented about that. What? What? Why? 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 Why are you making shark fin soup? That's disturbing. <laughs> okay, Gabe. That was like kind of disturbing. <laughs> We'll be meeting with Schollmeister Skid. Oh, and Schollmeister is what the Shi'ars call their leader. Those are shark animals, not shark people. The Shi'ars are fellow mercenaries. I'm on good terms. I guess. <laughs> so I'm thinking Skid should at least lend us an ear? <laughs> Cannibalism. Just be aware. They approach fighting with something of a different mindset than we do. What do you mean? War means different things to different people. And everyone's got a reason for taking lives and risking their own. For me and my kind, war is simply a way to put food on the table. And the only life we've ever known, for the most part. For the Shi'arks, though? Different. How exactly? Probably better for you to hear it from the source. Let's get inside. Hmm. Guess I never really thought about it that way. The Shearks. Watch, they're gonna be like war. Oh, it's a buffet. Me, you'd be wanting us to join your battle against the Empire. Yes. Duke's Aldrich is plotting a war of conquest against the League, for no reason other than to sate his ambitions. We're gathering allies to fight back. This be no wee skirmish, Cully. Sounds like any joining your side would be risking their very lives. Do you disagree, in Barnard? No, I think you have the right of it. Not that that would amount to a particularly novel situation for us mercenaries. The Sawads are already contracted to you, Chris, and may the sands swallow us if we ever break a contract. Yar. This may have been a huge waste of time. Oh, be quiet now. You're just a bag. Uh-oh, what's going on? Born of sand, hammer in hand, beard in the cores of the Shearks. Shearks. Red for fight, honor and might. Raise your dorsal fins up. Fearless and strong, peerless and brawn. Beard are the warriors of the Shearks. Red for the fight, honor and might. Raise your dorsal fins. What? <laughs> we thank you for inviting us to participate in so glorious a war. Oh, they're down. They're they're down. They were just like, they were just like, they were waiting. They were just waiting. They were just like, I wish someone would. Uh, does that mean you'll help us? Aye, but on one condition. For there be no glory to be found in a war if the commander has no valor. Which means we need to see your worth, by champ. <laughs> what a war chant. <laughs> will you prove it to us now or no? Uh, of course I will. Of course I will. Now we know. Now we can eat non-shark meat. <laughs> ha, I applaud your conviction, Noah. Wasn't sure you'd agree quite so readily. So, how do you expect him to do this, Skid? The Shearcraft race. Oh, there it is. The Shearcraft race! Yeah, the race. That race they were talking about earlier? So if we want the Shearks as our allies, I have to win this race? Skid didn't say anything about winning it. I think an adequately impressive performance should be enough. 
Let's show them what we're made of. All right, let's head to the town square. All right, we're gonna be racing, guys. I wonder if this is gonna be the Chrono Trigger part. You know what I'm talking about in Chrono Trigger when you first go into uh, into the future when you do the street race. I get a feeling that's what this is going to be. Let me save it first before I do anything. Oh. I don't want to step in the magic circle and trigger anything real quick. I want to run and save. It's still, well, yeah, that's kind of uh, kind of funny how the protagonist is still new at a, a mini game and then beats the pros. Oh yeah, because he has the power of protagonist. Any other entrance? Ain't no one looking to prove their metal. Okay, there it is. know that look you're here to enter the race hi this be a rare sight <laughs> but an impressive one uh oh no worries cully i'll personally train ye into a proper shiarcraft captain i be euphorious the seventh the seventh but you'll be calling me coach by chum. Now, get ready and keep up. Okay. W wait. Up, oh, up. Oh, okay, uh, we're going. We're doing this. Hmm. That sound judgment from the showmeister. I'll just have to work ye that much harder. Ah, now then, what be your name? It's Noah, coach. <laughs> Excellent response, Noah. Our training begins now. Be ye ready! Uh, sure, let's go for it. You bet I'm ready, coach. Then your training starts now. Perfect. Yes, coach. Ooh, special training. Hey, yo. Okay. Try to beat each race's target time. Collect souls floating on the racetrack to charge up your dash, then deploy it at the best possible moment to run to the fastest path. Gates, you don't have to go through them, but you'll get a three second penalty if you don't. Jump platform dash, uh, run, them, uh, run them over them to dash. If you see one, go over it. Tornado will bounce you off upon contact. Try to avoid. That sounds pretty simple oh whoa 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 why am I this is yo this is like it's like it's like being it's like being on ice yeah they can you always hated mini games and games dude can I go straight dude what what Come on! Yo, why can't I go straight? Thank you. 
That was weird. Like, I literally wasn't trying to, like, turn like that. I was just trying to go straight. Feels like surfing on Stan. No sense of direction. Yeah, it's really... Like, it's super sensitive. I guess I kind of... I beat... I beat the time? Whoa, that concludes our training. Very impressive, Cully. Not gonna lie, Yakuza has some of the best... Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yakuza, though. Yakuza's all about the minigames. Plus, Yakuza's minigames legitimately need to be done to make your character stronger. Or, uh, get, or get money and stuff. It takes a little bit to get used to controls, yeah. It, it really does. It takes some time to get used to the controls, for sure. Thank you, coach. Up at the inn, so ye be ready for the race tomorrow. Yes, coach. I'm ready to hustle, coach. <laughs> Your intensity is starting to creep me out a little, Noah. Let's get you some rest before you collapse. Where is this inn? The Rippling Sands. Rest well, my chum. Speaking of like RPGs and Yakuza, I, I want to play the new like a dragon game with uh, what's his name in in Hawaii. That that looks like a lot of fun because I I I played the um, the one prior to it. Go get yourself a good night's rest. And don't get so excited about the race you don't sleep. All right? I hear you. But I'm really fired up about it. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just take it easy, Tiger. Wow, this is like the most excited I, I'd have I ever heard Noah. I've never heard Noah this excited about anything. This next race is something special. Has me trembling with excitement down to the tip of me tail fin. We be having a special racer today. He sent the imps running at his shine, and now he leads the alliance. He be the one, the only, the Noah. Go on, play to the crowd. Yeah, let's play to the crowd. This Kelly is going to war against the Empire, and he be asking for the help of the Shi'arks. You lost your whole system to an accidental boot deletion? To so order a cheap laptop to create a boot drive? You're out of the PC? Oh my god, holy cow, That's I'm so here, sorry to hear that, man. Your whole system due to a boot deletion. Jeez, that sucks, man. Sorry to hear that. He's gonna prove his valor on the sands. Yeah, just get like a super duper cheap laptop or something. Or even go to a pawn shop, grab something cheap. And then you then you could use that as a boot drive for sure. This race be telling us whether he's got the teeth or he's all thin. <laughs> he can't even boot past BIOS. Wow. Yeah, man, you're going to have to start from somewhat scratch. Hopefully, when you get that cheap laptop, so you can bypass that. Because that's rough. Yeah, exactly what Momo said. You'll never know find, You'll never know what you find at a, uh, in a pawn shop. I've literally, like the monitor, 
not this new monitor that not the 1440p monitor but the one that i was using for years the 144 hertz uh, 1080p monitor i bought that monitor for um 77 dollars in a pawn shop uh by the beach and that monitor at that time sold for 400 dollars i don't know why because the, the person didn't know how much it was worth they just knew it was a gaming monitor so i picked it up i'm like 77 dollars for a 400 brand new it was it was basically brand new brand new monitor i mean you'll be surprised what you can find at a pawn shop now let the race begin oh wow so you're your PS4 account was glitched. You know, I've heard that a couple times, Windows, uh, about the PlayStation account. The last PlayStation I owned was a PlayStation 3, and I only had it for a month, and the PlayStation just broke on me. Like, the entire hard drive went out, and Sony gave me some BS excuse of why they couldn't fix it and blah, 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 and they tried to charge me. Luckily, I got it as kind of like a hand-me-down, type of thing not a hand-me-down but it was like it was a guy who was going overseas and he just gave it to me um and that was the last time i owned a playstation because i was like their customer service was pretty bad so i didn't want to mess with it which is sad because i love my playstation 1 and playstation 2. this be it cully this be what you trained for yes coach of course coach i'm gonna hustle and win coach uh, maybe reel that enthusiasm in a bit. Just try to hit second place. That should be more than enough to impress them. Yeah, Sony will never help. You tried, yeah. Got it. If your fins be groomed and sharp, let's go! Let me, uh, let me at him. Let me at him, coach! <laughs> <laughs> then go give him hell! Noah it is hyped. Oh! Jeez, Noah is hyped about this. is This is the most fun fun Noah's ever had in his entire life. Doing a little bit better now. I got second place by barely dude I almost got first place I barely didn't get first place I think I did it great job Noah I must admit I'm impressed Yeah, I thought there was going to be enemies on screen too, but it, no, it was the same thing as the training montage. <laughs> spectacular, Cully! Absolutely spectacular! What a battle! And such incredible spirit, my champ! I was kind of hoping that it was going to be like a Mario Kart type of thing. Rarely have I seen a dorsal fin stand so tall. Three cheers for Noah! Yeah, like Crash Team Racing, yeah. You're on an incredible race, Cully. And we see your valor fair and true. Then you're satisfied? 
I am. We Shi'arks would be honored to join your alliance. We'll show ye how a shoal of Shi'arks can chew apart even so mighty a foe as the Empire. Yo. Yo, Skid? The entire leader of the Shi'arks joined the party? Okay. Thank you very much. I figured I was going to get a, a, a Shi'ar companion, but not the damn leader. You did it, Noah. Oh, this trip was totally worth it in the end. And since a valorously run race deserves a prize to match, this be for you. Honor scale armor. Nice. And I have something more. The greatest gift we Shi'arks can bestow. Fine work, Cully. You're clearly a man worthy to be entrusted with me life. Coach? Not anymore, Cully. Just call me Eupharius. We Shi'arks stand ready to fight whenever ye be needing us. As such, we be giving ye our finest warrior and the head of our defense force, Eupharius the Seventh. Okay, now. And I'll be serving ye with as much sandpapery grit as I got on me own skin. <laughs> I got a shark. I got two sharks now. Thank you all. Nice. Ugh, it'll be me pleasure to fight at your side, Noah. It's an honor to have you, Co. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Eupharius. So, the Alliance's castle be that way, Yar. Let's hustle! Is he gonna be okay? Looks like he intends to cross the desert by himself. Which reminds me, we should probably be heading back as well. Um... Okay. So, I kind of want to see if I could get you, you far as on my team and replace the spear guy. Because... And he has a ball and chain, so maybe he can attack from the back? Um... We'll find out. All right. Yeah, he's level 31. Ah, where's the fun in that? Yeah, and then he can attack from the back and he's already pretty hefty. That'd be a good idea. He looks strong, yeah. I just got to get his level up a bit. But he already has weight. Already has a lot of HP. And he can fight from the rear. Bot too. Which makes him... Uh, pr pretty good. One or more party members cannot be set as companion. What do you mean? So long, Kalees. Ready to hustle. Oh, I can't add him yet. I think that's the problem. Hold on. So long, Kalees. No, that's not the issue. Okay. So what's what's the one or more party members cannot be set as a companion. 
Right. I'll go find no. an inn or something. The bean is fine. I'm kind of confused what's going on here. Gar! I can't get rid of you, you old dog. See you around. He's required. I'm ready to rejoin the fight. Why can't I get out of the screen? Be at the ready. Oh, it was him. That was weird. Maybe, maybe there was a cutscene of him leaving. That I just didn't trigger yet. And that's why I couldn't take him out. So it was him. That's strange. All right. So she's got... Bruna Power. Rune of High Magic. Of Mighty Power. All right. Okay, so he's got already a couple runes. in there. Interesting. What can I buy from you? Rune of Mighty Power. Can I equip on Gar here? There you go. He's e What other rune can I get you? Rune of Luck. Increases magical defense. Uh, I'm gonna get a rune of. I'm gonna buy a rune of HP just cuz. And a rune of. Magical resistance. Can't equip any of those. So you can only do a, a three-star passive. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. So there's a couple more things I can do. So I could look up where to go for that one girl, because I think... We might be strong enough to do what we need to do now. Especially once I get what's his name. Up and going. See? He already got some good gear.
Let me talk to old girl here. Oh, hey, hey. I'm good to go. Great. And, oh, yeah. You don't have to twist my arm. And away we 